Hello. Today we're going to learn how to import images to Lightroom. I'm at Starbucks. It's fun. Um, so here's Lightroom. What I want you to do is make sure you import all your images from your card. Just drag them onto your desktop or whatever you need to do. I'm not going to do that because I don't have a lot of space. But just let you know that if you if you import them without once you take the card out, usually your your images will be gone. You'll be disappointed. So always make sure. So I'm going to find you find the folder. You have to hit import. So you hit, hit import, and then you search your folder. And it's going to be a little bit different when you're using a PC because you know the files are in a little bit different place but I'm actually gonna just grab them straight from my card which I just told you I don't want you to do because um, once you take the card out it'll be gone but I'm importing those so it looks like this all right and I don't want to import the videos because that will take forever and you can't edit them in here anyway and I right off the bat I can tell oh I'm not gonna want those that are like completely black and there we go and I just say import so let me move over so you can see it there it is import so it's going to import all those images that are checked import there we go okay, I guess you got to hit it harder and then you'll notice that they're importing there what I'm going to show you how to do is just um, kind of sort through the files right away and, um, you know, quickly get rid of ones that are obvious that are out of focus and you can't save. And then we're going to uh, delete those off and then we're going to go to develop um, and we're going to edit them there. So I'm going to, okay, so I paused it so you weren't able to see. Uh, it took a little bit longer to import everything. But now, as you can see, if I set, if I click this button here, you can see uh, the multiple, um, you know, a bunch of these. If you put it on full page, you can just look at the full page. So, and also you can control what you see over here by getting in closer. You can zoom in, right, like that. It's very cool. So I'm going to go back to fit. And um, that one's out of focus. So. Right off the bat, I can star the ones that are out of focus, and I can delete them if I want. So, or you can star the ones you like. That's a better. That's a good way to do it. Either way, um, when I look at this, I look at it closely. See that there's a problem with the ISO there. So, that's good. That's too blurry. You know. So you're gonna go through this and. Okay, so um, I just went ahead and marked all the ones that I could delete, and I'm going to just, uh, I've got them marked, so I'm going to go to View, Sort, Rating, and all the ones that I have rated, I'm going to just click on them. These are all the ones I don't want, so I'm going to just grab the top one and push Shift, and now I'm going to just right click and say remove photos so now I don't even have to worry about those remove okay so now I just have the good ones that I like all right so let me look at them so let's see I think that's fine these are fine let me look for one that I can fix actually I should have deleted that one that one doesn't look that great okay now these are super dark so it's a great opportunity for me to show you you just go right over here to uh, exposure and I'm going to move this over a little bit and you just can pump it up, just hit the exposure like that, and it's going to bring it right up. Another really cool thing is if you didn't shoot the right white balance, let's say you shot on in cloudy or you messed up, you can go over here to temperature, or you can go to white balance, and you can say, hey, I want to shoot that in auto, or I want to shoot it in cloudy. Look how it's going to change, you know, it's going to change the white balance, so you can see it different. But um, I like how I shot it. I shot it. It looks good. So then I can change the clarity. I can pump that up a little bit. See that? It looks good, right? Vibrance. All right, let's see something else. I think that looks good. Let's look at something else, though. It needs help. 
Mm. Let me play with this picture. So I'll look at it here. Exposure looks good. Clarity could pump up a little. And now it's going to develop. Okay, so now in develop, you can play with, there's a whole bunch of different things in here you can play with. Um, oh, I should have done a, a person. But anyway, for this one, we can do, um, you can play with the hues. Like right here are all the different colors. So let's say you want to make it greener because it's green. You can click on green, and I can bring up the hue and make it greener or pump up the saturation a little bit. See that? It's really cool. Those are fun. Another thing that's really neat are the highlights here. I'm just, you know, tonal curve. You can kind of play with that if you want. Make it like an S. Watch. Let's see. What's that doing? And then you can also look at before and after. You can hold them side by side. But I'm going to go ahead. Now that's where it played with the highlights. Just you made it into an S, or you can kind of go, okay, here, I want to try to pump the highlights. You see how you blow out the white? You don't want it to be so blown out that you can't see it. And then some pictures are, like, too dark on the face, and you can adjust that. Look at that. So cool. Okay, I love that one. Now I'm going to go back to library when I'm done with that. Go back to here. And let's say I want to export only that one picture because I love it and I need it. So I'm going to click on it. And you can do a bulk export. But you hit export. And then I'm going to choose the folder to put it in. And of course, it looks a little different on um, PCs. So I'm going to tell it to go into my desktop. And then I'm going to say choose. I'm going to have it put it into a subfolder, and I'm going to type it dog. And then down here, if I want to change the size and make it smaller, but I'm going to keep it as big one. I want it to be as large as can be and export. And then you'll watch it export here. And then it'll be on my desktop. you got to double check. And once it exports, then you're all set. You'll watch it go. Okay? All right, so I went to my desktop. I'm looking. I'm going to pull up the image just to make sure it's there. I'll just double click it. There is my edited, very, very green um, saturation. Come on. Uh, there's so many other things I'm going to show you how to brighten eyes, dodge and burn, uh, but we'll do that in the next video. Thank you. See you soon.